Hi, this is Mr. T. Hobbs, and welcome to my introductory video to Frick.co.uk server. I wanted to find a server very similar to the Hermitcraft server, and I went on to Planet Minecraft, and this is the server that I found. So here we are logging into it. Okay, and when you first join the server, you're presented with the notice board, which has got the various different rules and things like that on it. Just the usual sort of vanilla Minecraft type rules, really. Okay, now I move around quite quickly around here, and that's because we've got a speed to beacon, which you can just see over there in the distance in that nice tower, which certainly means that moving around in the spawn area is nice and quick. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, this is the workshop. And it's an area where we've got chests with a variety of different things just to help people get started, or if they start running low on the basic supplies. There's also a public mine that people can use, along with the various different tools and brewing station and things like that. Over there's my base, but we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, so back out through the doors again. And this is another notice board where we can put our own signs up. Um, various different things on the message board there. One major project going on at the moment is uh, an Enderman farm, and there were some signs up about that. Okay, there's the house of the owner, and that's the shop for the owner, and then this is my shop now. There was a sign there, but a creeper came along and blew it up, unfortunately, so I haven't got any materials to make another sign at the moment. Okay, so there's all my various different bits now, obviously, because we're not running, we we're running vanilla Minecraft, there's no chance of any sort of shop mods or anything like that, so we're just relying on people's honesty. There's another shop that was created by another user, but that user's currently left the server for a while. Okay, this is Cutter100's house. He's got a little um, horse area there, and then he's got an underwater base. So we'll just pop down the stairs and into his base. So this is the entrance way into his base. Quite a nice underwater layout. Not done an underwater base before, I think it be, might be quite nice to do one of them in the future. Quite a nice place. I'll shut the door behind me when I go. And the outer door as well. And this is his way into his mine. It's quite a useful little trick. There we go. Oh, a little bit laggy on the server. Okay, so we'll go back through the shops again. Oh, there's the boost 2 kicking in. Okay, I'm going to follow the pathway round. Just have a quick run through some of the other people's houses on the server. of horses there for Oscar. And there's Oscar's but most of Oscar's base is actually underground as well. I won't show you that now. That used to be a house, but the house has been taken down. I don't know whether that was done by the uh, by the person or whether they've been taken off the server. And that house I've just looked at there was it's the um, the owner's house. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna up uh, this is a map of the, or well, used to be a map, but the map's come off for some reason. I don't know whether Creeper's blown it off, blown it up, or whether it's been taken off for another reason. Okay, so we're now going over the bridge towards my house. Um, unfortunately, I didn't make this bridge. My bridges aren't anywhere near as good as this one, but it's a very nice bridge. And in the distance there up ahead, you can see a lighthouse created by one of the members. You had a, a minecart running around on a track that you, that lit up glowstone, but unfortunately it was causing major lag on the server, so we've had to turn it off. Okay, following the path around, we now come up towards my island. And there's, there's my bridge, and it says, Welcome to Creeper Island, because when I first joined the server, I spent the first few days just getting blown up all the time by all the creepers. And here's my farms. Field of base of farm, my little chicken farm there. And then a few more farms over there, and another bridge that I made. And here's my house. Mr. D. Hobbs is not less humble abode, because my first house was just a basic wooden box, so that I'd be protected from the creepers. And there's my sign, just to let everybody know it's me that lives here. Subtle as always. Okay, so let's go indoors. Just the bare bedrooms. Um, one member was outside my house, and the house blew up, and so he's very kindly donated a few toys. There's my rubbish bin, and then here's all my chests, all my spare bits, and to keep my treasures and things like that secure, I've got them in a 
in an ender chest, so that way then no other users can find them. A bit of food before we go exploring. Okay, so heading down the stairs. First room we've got is my enchanting room and repair room, and then my brewing station with some of the potions I've made up so far. Uh, I have to take one of those because we're going to head down towards my skeleton spawner. Okay, next row down, we've got my portal across to the nether, and up here we've got my nether wart farm. There's my little mushroom farm. And then if we head on down the stairs, or fall down into the water, almost. There we go. This is my second mushroom farm, just testing whether mushrooms grow better in the dark or with a little bit of light. Obviously a lot more mobs in the dark one. Okay, heading all the way down. So this is now down into my main mine. I use a very simple strip mining technique to get to the uh, Skellington spawner. Got this little rail track that will turn it along. Nice quick little journey, just because I'm lazy and I get bored walking that same route every time, every time I wanted to come across here to earn a bit of XP. Behind that brick area is where the uh, skeleton spawner is. The reason why I've done it all in stone brick like this is so that if I'm mining I can then see when I, I will get close to it so I know to stop. Okay, I'm going to go AFK for five minutes or so, and leave the spawner to do its thing, and then we'll see how the um, skeletons we've got when we come back. Okay, catch you on the other side. So it's been about five minutes, and as you can see there's quite a few skeletons built up in the little number one area there. Unfortunately when I do on this, it does cause a bit of a lag, and as you can see my friend is looking up down to ten frames a second now, so we'll just kill them that off. <coughs> so 16 XP. Up to 27, oh, to almost 28 XP, so that's not bad. Just a few more, just to see if I can get all the way up to So let already run out of space in my inventory, so we're going to have to just combine a few of these bows together. So that's now I'm in a safe place, let's just get some of these bows combined. See the next one. Obviously, I don't want to combine any of these enchanted bows because otherwise we would be losing enchantment. So, we'll just carry on combining all the normal non enchanted bows together. Yeah, it gives a bit more space in the inventory and also gives us nice, almost brand new bows I can then trade with other users on the server. Okay, it's almost there now. 28 XP, almost up to 30. Oh yeah, there's Chillin Dylan. Um, he's the one that's actually going to be creating the Enderman spawner, Enderman farm, in the end. And hopefully be doing that this bank holiday weekend. Okay, so we're still not quite there yet. Yeah, up to 29. Yeah, any more for any more, just hanging around now, waiting for a few more skillies to come through. Come on. Just one of the last few to get up to that magic clarity. 29 and a half, come on, another couple more, that should be us up to 30. No, it doesn't look like they want to come through, does it? Typical. Just when you need a lot of skin. Oh, there you go. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll head on back to the base then, because I can get the idea as to how it works anyway. Got it, there's another one. Uh, it's really not going to happen, is it? Right, let's go back to base then. And that's another way off to a different part of my farm. Oh, I can hear another one. Oh, well, I'm dodged straight away. No XP from that one. Right, this time I'm definitely going. Okay, so back to the cart. And back home we go. Just makes life so much easier and so much quicker than having to walk all the time. In the corner. Also this part of my mine is actually right over a slime trunk. 
but I can't work out exactly where the slime chunk is, so I can't really make a slime farm for it yet. I'll have to figure that one out at some point in the future. Now my mining technique is quite simple really, it's four lots of eight. Then I do another three by three tunnel, then another 20, uh, 32 blocks, and then another three by three tunnel, and another 32 blocks like that. And obviously you get, sometimes you get lava or anything like that which convert into obsidian. I always use those three torches to signify my way back to the ladder to get me back out of the base. That way then I can always know exactly where the, the ladder is. And this goes exactly the same the other direction as well. This is my second level of the mine, but I haven't actually started that yet. No mobs, no, also. Yeah, I haven't really started doing the second level yet. Obviously the first level is good for diamonds and things like that, and then the higher levels are then good for iron and things. Okay, no mobs in there. We're all safe, let's carry on. Let's go off to the nether. Right, so this is our nether hub that we've got on the server. And as you can see, it's split into various different... Why is there a horse in the nether? Oh, um, split into various different wings. Um, that one hasn't quite been finished yet. The other two wings were done by the owner, and then this wing was done by me. Okay, so let's go back to my wing. Because it's off, head off towards my base. So it just gives us a little bit of protection from ghasts and things like that. Okay, there's one portal. And the city hops this portal down this way. Over to the right we've got the entrance. This takes us through to our nether fortress where we've got uh, quite a few different blaze spawners and there's also quite a few wither skeletons in there as well which is obviously where we managed to get the wither skulls for the beacon. I wasn't involved in that, that was all done by um, Zen, the owner. Okay, and here we are with Sooty Hobbs' portal. And that way back to the nether hub. Okay, so we'll go back through here. So this takes us through to a, my other house that I've got, which is further away from the spawn point. That just gives me more chance to be a bit more creative in here. We have a bigger one. Okay, a few different chests and things like that. A few chests, a few... Well, there goes from Zen just saying how he likes my house. And gave me a couple of potions as well, which is nice of him. And a quick look from the outside of my house. A little farm there. And there it is. A nice little country retreat, as I've called it. That's the sign. This helps country retreat. Okay, so again, not really laid out very much. Oh. A little entrance there onto the into the fields and things behind, and the uh, my little sheep farm that I needed for my sign back at the spawn base. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodbye, Mr. Creeper. Oh no, he's hiding down the tree. The advantage of that bow is it's basically it takes them down to a one-hit kill afterwards. Still enough of them to blow up though, so I have to be a bit careful. There we go. He's a goner. Okay, so back into the house. Close the door and gate behind me. And he's upset. As you see, I haven't really done any sort of um, laying out on the inside of the property. No rooms or anything like that. It's more just a functional outside exterior at the moment. Okay, so just a few bits of stone smelting, things like that. Always a nice way of building up XP. Okay, well that's it for my first video. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this, then please leave a comment or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.